In this example, we're going to walk through and solve this equation, 7a minus 17 equals 1 plus 4a. And of course, to solve an equation like this, we're just trying to isolate that variable a on one side of the equation and get those constants on the opposite side. All right, so we're going to include here a two-column algebraic proof that will work step by step along with the solution for this equation. And over here on the right column, you'll see we have reasons. So we're going to give a justification for every single step that we take. And this is a great way to prepare you for the more rigorous proofs that you're going to do in geometry. Okay, so here we are, the equation, and of course, uh, the first step always that we write is given, because this equation has been given to us, so we're going to solve it. Okay, so looking at this equation, we need to decide which side should we put the variables on and which side should we put the numbers on. So typically, students like to put these variables on the left side and the numbers on the right, especially if the coefficient of the variable is going to be positive over here on the left side, which we see it is going to be. So let's go ahead and start by subtracting 4a from both sides of the equation. And we're going to do so in an effort to get the a off of the right side and collect all of the a terms on the left side. Okay, so what reason can we have for doing this, or what justification do we have? Well, we're subtracting this 4a term from both sides of the equation, so we're going to call this the subtraction property of equality. And again, all this property of equality says is whatever we're doing to one side of the equation, we do to the other side of the equation. Everything stays nice and equal. Okay, well, what does this look like now when I subtract 4a from both sides? Well, on this right side, our 4a's cancel. And on the left side, I have 7a minus 4a, which is 3a. So 3a minus 17 equals 1. And that step is just going to be simplify. And you'll notice as you go through and do these, every time after you use a property of equality, you're always going to use a simplify. Okay, so we now have our variable terms on the left. So let's go ahead and get this constant, this minus 17, off of the left side and onto the right side along with this 1. So right now we see the 17 is being subtracted. So let's go ahead and do the inverse operation of subtraction and add 17 to both sides of the equation. So what property will allow us to do this? Well, we call this the addition property of equality. And just like our subtraction property of equality, this just says if I add something to one side of the equation, I need to add it to the other side just to keep everything nice and equal. And of course, what will this look like numerically? Well, the negative 17 and the positive 17 will cancel each other out. So I'll have just this 3a over here on the left. And on the right, I'll do 1 plus 17, which is 18. So what's the justification here? Well, once again, it's going to be simplify. And again, every time you use a property of equality, you're going to use uh, typically a simplify afterwards. All right, let's move it up just a little bit because we're almost done. Just need a little more space. So 3a equals 18. So we're trying to get the a all by itself. And right now we have this 3 being multiplied by the a. So let's go ahead and divide both sides of our equation by 3. And of course, this will be the division property of equality. And again, that just states that if you're going to take one side of the equation and divide it by some value, you need to do so also on the other side to keep everything nice and equal. All right, so on the left side, the 3 and this 3 cancel each other out. So I'm left with just a equals, and so 18 divided by 3 is 6. And actually doing that division, my justification here is simplify. So I now have the value of a, I see that a equals 6, and I have included justification for every single step that I took along the way to facilitate the solution for this equation. So let's go back to the top and see what this looks like all the way down 
to the bottom. So there's that example.